today I'm going to be here doing a review of Kingsoft antivirus and I'm going to do an installation first and I'll do a, a test against viruses later um, I'm going to go to download.com to download it because if you download it from the Kingsoft website it downloads in this file and it's kind of awkward or it's not as even as if file, it's a rare file I'm just going to search here for Kingsoft. I was waiting for the little Internet Explorer to stop this download thing, but then I realized I need to click on download. some installation just to be sure I have everything that I wanted. I'm gonna pause the review while this is installed and I'll come back when it's nearly done. Alright so the installation is finished and I'm just gonna go through this it's um, just I'm gonna go through the advanced settings before it runs for the first time just to make it easier um, I'll go through this myself and I'll come back with some of the changes that need to be made I'd just like to point out here their screensaver scan I'm not going to enable it usually I don't ever scan my computer um, but it's a nice feature to have for so that when you're away from the computer if you're gone to do something or whatever it'll scan your computer while you're gone so you won't feel the slowdown while you're there because the scan will all be done when you're away. And the schedule scan, if you want to go here you can add in schedule scans but I'm only doing a review so I'm not going to but some people may want to do that. While the video was paused I got a message saying your license key has been added to your desk so I've got a pop up from Kingsoft. So this is a free serial number and another feature just would set a great that um, most antiviruses have but a lot of the free ones don't. They have an embedded MSN scanner so it can scan your instant messaging client while you're if someone's sending you files or while you're downloading files through MSN. It says here there's an option here to um, what to do when the system is occupied about updates and it says always refuse to update but um, I firstly I don't know what it means by occupied but it's a good idea to update all the time and it doesn't take up much resources so I'll always accept an update I'm going to clean out the temporary files created by updating just so the system doesn't get big files and it taking up space um, I'm going to say do not run embedded scan when it's when you're in a full screen application because it's very unlikely that if you're in a full screen application if you're playing a game or something you won't be using MSN at the same time so I'm gonna, you don't need the embedded scan while that's happening but while you're in a full when you're in a full screen application I still think you do need to update so I'm going to uncheck the postpone scheduled update task. I'm going to check join in SSEP because that's part of the cloud based scanner. So you'll have a reduced amount of protection if you don't
not check that. Um, and I'm going to uncheck the disable auto run because it can get kind of annoying if you put in a CD or something and you have to go into my computer and find it just to open it when if you put a CD in or connect the flash drive it should just open straight up here. So I'll uncheck that and I'll click finish and I think we're good to go. It's out of date so I'll just update it here. come back when the updates are done. Okay, so the update has finished and it's gonna go through what's here. They've auto protect the USB device protection. I think that was just turning auto protect off. Anyway, I'll just turn it on anyway. Um, it says it insists that it should be on so I'll turn it on. Um, they have self defense, cloud security defense, they have instant messenger protection and download protection. They have actually some nice tools here. It has its own process supervisor. It lets you, it's like task manager, but it lets you find risky processes and some of the times it will find unsafe processes and let you know about them. Um, history cleaner and disk cleaner just cleans up all files really and system repair is very handy and um, I've actually had to fix my wireless before it's um, it repairs any files that have been damaged or replaced or removed when viruses are on the computer and undo and undoes what the viruses have done and a lot of antiviruses aren't great at actually doing that so this is the review well this is the installation part of the review done so I'll be back to you with another video in a few minutes